while recording mandibular impression what is recorded when the patient is asked to close the mouth and the dentist exerts downward pressure okay and the options are mesentric notch lingual flange retromyelohyoid fossa and retromolar band firstly let's visualize where all of this is present the mesentric notch is present on the distobuccal side okay then the lingual flange is here this is the entire lingual flange and it is divided the lingual sulcus is divided into anterior middle and posterior and then we have retromyelohyoid fossa which is this area only the corner over here and lastly the retromolar pad okay so these are the things in question now uh, let's go one by one how to record each area so for mesentric notch sorry for mesentric notch you have to record this area you have to ask the patient to close the mouth against resistance for lingual flange you have to do tongue movements so you ask the patient to take the tongue out lick the upper lip lower lip move it sideways and with the thumb you can just gently do all the bottom molding in that area then retromyelohyoid fossa you need to push the material in that area manually and ask the patient to close pucker the lip and swallow for retromolar pad area you ask the patient to open wide and after opening wide with your finger you can adapt that area and then you ask the patient to close against pressure okay so here there are two identical kind of situations closing against pressure is done for mesentric notch and retromolar pad both dentist exerts downwards pressure okay so that is correct for mesentric notch that is option number 1 i will tell you how that happens so masseter is a very strong muscle of mastication it governs the distobuccal boundary of the mandibular foundation it is overrided by the buccinator muscle so normally uh, there is a, a lot of uh, muscle fibers that are anteriorly present and muscle fibers from the buccinator that are coming and sitting in the distobuccal area of the mandible when the muscle ma masseter muscle contracts on contraction it changes the shape and size of the distobuccal area and it causes the buccinator also to create a suction so when you ask the patient uh, to you know close the mouth and close against pressure this is going to cause the buccinator muscle and tissues to go away from that area so buccinator is moved away and masseter is the one that is recorded so masseter muscle is pulled in this area and the buccinator is moved away from this area so this contraction is very necessary to record the distobuccal area the size of the masseter muscle will also determine how easily you can uh, border mold that area so the uh, notch that is formed because of the action of buccinator on masseter on each other is called mesenteric notch okay so you have to record the mesenteric notch so the correct answer as to what will be recorded by closing the mouth against pressure is the mesenteric notch that is the distobuccal area